So today I'm in the deepest Argyle. Uh, this is Loch Gilphead, which sits at the head of the sea loch that uh, I'm just looking at now. Uh, we swing around in the distance. That is Arisig. Uh Today has been an absolutely smashing day. Uh, red hot. I've been burned completely by the sun. Uh, I was uh, take a long walk. Uh, managed to bag a haggis uh, and I brought it into this town of Gilbert just to ask the local Italian restaurant if they would mind uh, cooking it for me, which they happily did for a small fee. Uh, this is, as I say, of Gilbert. Uh, not a lot happens here, although it is a bonny wee town. Uh, I've taken a couple of other uh, videos today. Uh, so I'm going to stitch all those together and make a very, very short film of camping in Mid-Argyle. So here we are in Bella Noch, which is uh, the end of the Crinan Canal. Uh, it's a yacht haven. Uh, just behind those trees in front of me is where uh, some scenes from James Bond were filmed. Uh, kind of racing a boat. Haven, I suppose you'd call it. Straight ahead in the middle of the picture is a shrimper that uh, goes out, catches shrimps and langoustines and sends those to France and Spain. Uh, we are kind of at sunset, so it's panning around, uh, catching some of the bays. Uh, beautiful little bay that's absolutely stunning. Uh, so now I'm going to go down to uh, that looks out onto the Isle of Jura and uh, we're going to catch the sunset there. Here we are in Carseg. Uh, as you can see, there's a washed up Spanish galleon here. Uh, inside that, an old police box. I uh, don't know if you can see that behind the tree. Yep, an old police box. Let's go back to the Spanish Galleon. So, panning around. And we're seeing the islands here in the distance. And uh, there's a strong sunset there. And we the sunset go by and The sound of Jura. So we're fast approaching sundown over the Isle of Jura. Uh, just uh, before we kind of move round to the sun, one or two wee facts and figures about Jura. It recently came to light that uh, over 700,000 hectares uh, or acres, whichever it is, of land in Jura uh, belongs to David Cameron, our beloved leader's father-in-law. Uh, this only came to light with the revelations in the Panama Papers. Uh, yes, it's an island, it's a huge island. I think I've mentioned before it's where George Orwell wrote in uh, 1984. Uh, but most of the island is kept for grouse and deer shooting by Mr. Cameron's father-in-law. tax on it. Scumbag. So just in front of me there you'll see there's a little uh, lobster boat uh, and it's called, don't ask me how to pronounce it, it's Gaelic. Uh, it looks like Frau Gael, 
and it's from Stornoway, which is the capital of the string of islands known as the Outer Hebrides. A good couple of hundred miles from here. Uh, it rains a lot up there, so let's just have a wee pan round and uh, we'll catch the, the village, the hamlet I would describe it, of Carseg at sundown. So here we are. So uh, there's the sun. The sun is just touching the top of the hilltops on Jura. I'm going to switch the camera off and uh, we'll come back to this when the sun has dropped below the uh, hills of Jura. So the sun is halfway uh, down the hillside. We've got a little and boat coming in here. Uh, but I don't. Those two people in the dinghy were from France. Only a tiny bit of sunshine left. Well, it's still light. It's something like uh, maybe half past ten in the evening. Maybe not as late as that. I'll tell you what time it is now. Quarter to ten. Battery is about to go on. Right? So that's the end of the sunset.